451. I'm gonna meet my boy at the gym. I need to get there at 5, so I gotta hurry up. But, yo, my boy, he be calling me early morning every time. <laughs> and I be like, ah, it's time to get it, boy. So we made this super drink right here. He got this powdered Gatorade. Silic Dexion, I guess this helps with your muscle recovery. This is the Gatorade I'm talking about. A tiny pinch of sea salt spray. I always put way too much, so today I went really light. And then we also got the creatine right here. So not only is it, not only is it gonna be something that helps me throughout the workout with more energy, it's going to also help me with recovery. So of course I'm running late. And my boy Low Side here. I, I gotta admit, he's been pushing me, he's been pushing me a whole lot more. Waking yeah. up at gotta fucking... wake him up at like 350. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> his ass up, wake him up. He's been doing consistently. I'm proud of my brother. I was trying to better myself, motivate myself, mm. elevate myself. Oh, so then out of nowhere, we're doing it together. out of nowhere, <laughs> this motherfucker is I'm seeing him consistently come to the gym and then we just finally see each other. And I'm like Hey bro, my boy and my boys ain't fucking answered. I was like, you ready to come to the gym? He said yes. And ever since it's been good. It's been what? Fourth day, third day? Yeah, yeah, we've been yeah, locked we, in. It's good, it's good. That's his book though? Yeah. We're gonna run you, like 15 bucks? Maybe. We got my boy. Getting these triceps to dip in. Kaserski. Non negotiable by Wes Watson. First day we reading this one. I've been waiting on it for a while. That more aggressive mindset, especially waking up earlier in the morning, make it a non negotiable. We in one of my favorite spots right now in Doko. I like going to this one just because it's right corner, right around the corner from the gym. Y'all hear the vibes. Like it's it's birds chirping and it looks beautiful as hell. Look, you know, we got the, the whole arena right here. Everything look real modern, beautiful. Dark clouds today, but um, just a peaceful way really to get in some reading and just to think or any type of work also be using the wi-fi right here so uh it's perfect so we're gonna get in some reading not negotiable probably share something that i learned and then we're gonna dip back to the house i've torn everything apart i cannot find my keys i've been waiting on my breakfast i still need to take a shower i need to leave in less than 20 minutes and i promise you it's been like 20 minutes i've been looking for my keys and uh, I'm stressing. I, I I can't even can't even stress to you how much I'm stressing. Your boy Roddy been stressing for the past 30 minutes trying to find his damn keys. Look, finally found my keys. I got hella stuff strapped to me. Look at this. <laughs> Woo. One minute before my appointment. <laughs> Man, so this is everything I had on my back. <laughs> but we got everything set up, ready for the day. Got the TV going. And your boy copped the new cape. I hella forgot about this one. Let's see. So we got some new cape drip coming in. I had just gave one to my boy the other day. So I guess I got one of them back. This one's fire. I'm juiced for this. Get it.
another one running late. Here he is calling me. 15 minutes late, man. Come on. Hello? Hello? Yeah, Raul. This is Mo. Mo. Yo, what's good, Mo? Where are you yeah, pulling bro, up? I'm about to pull up, bro. All right, on, bro. I'll see you right now, then. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm so sorry, bro. It's all good. I'm going to see you yeah. right now. All right, bro. Right on, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty lenient when it comes to running late just because for myself, I be running late. But it's, it's funny because as a barber, we fucking hate when people are late. We're like, damn it, bro, y'all throwing off the schedule. And then, like, same thing as a client, you know, they're probably like, god damn, bro, this thing is always late. So it's like, I can't be too harsh. Um, my grace period is pretty much 15 minutes just because that's like my average. So uh, 15 minutes for them, anything over, I'm like, yo, you're pushing it. Uh, you know, if you're not gonna be here within like these next couple of damn seconds, then I might just have to, you know, cancel your appointment. But um, he's gonna be coming. In the meantime, I've been setting up this camera because I wanted to record his haircut. I had to put the steamer together for my next haircut. I am pretty hungry, so I wasn't able to eat. I only had two haircuts so far. The first one, I was really running late. So um, just trying to be on time. Yeah. He, uh, he leveraged his business line of credit and uh, took out the cash from the, the line of credit that he had mm -hmm. and slowly deposited it into his bank to show that he was getting it as like a bonus or a, um, a distribution uh -huh. and uh, was showing that it was income so when he did go to apply for a home loan or something like that he had all that money in his bank to where they're like, okay, well, he's got the cash, you know, for the, uh, the down payment and all that, and was able to show that he had the income for it and then that it was consistent over those few months. All right, y'all, so I call this the Roger Cuts Deluxe. I'm starting off with a flash foam and the facial steamer pointed at like a 45 degree angle, just massaging it in, hit it with the hot towel to take it off. And this is just getting the skin all prepped, ready. Then I come in with like, it's, it's just a facial toner spray. Massage it in before I do put in the exfoliate. Um, right here I have like this mechanical brush that's pretty much just gonna brush it all in. and massages his face at the same time, so pretty relaxing. Um, then I'm gonna come in again with the hot towel just so I can loosen up that, uh, that cream on his face with some essential oil, massage it in, and then do my best to wipe it off because sometimes it is tough. It's probably like the hardest part. Um, but after that, I'm gonna just come in with the 24 karat gold face mask. And this is cold. This is gonna act like a moisturizer to finish it up. How we looking? Clean. My boy done dropped the phone with it. Yeah, that shit. Let me grab the video on here real quick. I don't know if I... I don't be able to really see on this camera. Oh, there we go. It's all natural on my boy. You got a good ass hair texture. Oh, man. That's a Dominican. Yeah, it's like the air texture, we could get it real dark, look enhanced, but it's natural. Yes, sir. So the day was definitely a whole lot longer than it was anticipated. Got my computer, I'm better send all these videos to here just so I could get them ready for the week. Um, and then um, that was about it. I wish I didn't lose my keys in the morning. I wish I was on time today to where I would have had a little bit more time to actually get more productivity done. But, you know, we did the best that we could and tomorrow's another day. So let's get it again. I appreciate you guys for watching. It's Roger Cuts. Peace. And before I dip out, I was listening to a Gary V audiobook, Crushing It. He was talking about documenting, not creating. So I'm documenting 
this on my YouTube and showing this how the whole behind the scenes of Roger Cut. So I appreciate y'all.